Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to um, remove and reinstall a stabilizer link. Uh, we do the right hand side, the left hand side is the same. We do recommend you do these in pairs. If one of them is bad, chances are the other one is either bad or going to go bad. You'll need jack and jack stands to lift your vehicle, uh, a 22 millimeter socket um, and ratchet with probably a breaker bar to remove the lug nuts, and then either two 14 millimeter wrenches or you could get by with a 14 millimeter and a 9 and a 9 16 wrench. Start by removing uh, one of the front wheels, and if you don't have the benefits of air tools, um, you'll want to start with the vehicle on the ground, loosen the lug nuts, then uh, jack up and secure the vehicle on jack stands, and remove the lug nuts, the wheel cover, and wheel and tire. I'm going to turn the wheel and get a little bit better access for my wrenches. Use. 14 millimeter wrenches to hold the back side of the sway bar link and for the nut. Then I'm going to put a wrench in here to help me get a little bit extra leverage to break the nut free. Okay, and fast forward as we remove that nut the rest of the way. And I'm going to use my 14 to counter hold. Get it on the top. 14 to break it free. Okay, and as you can see there, what we do is we put the uh, wrench on and then just hook another wrench uh, onto the end just to give yourself some extra leverage. Helps you break the nut free. And two nuts free. Pull your sway bar link out. Installing the link back in to the sway bar and to the control arm. Okay, and nice shot of our elbow there. Um, and once you can see, once you've got it out, it's a pretty easy process to get it back in. Um, you might have to just kind of manipulate the, the link a little bit to get it to go through the stabilizer bar and the control arm, but then put the nuts on pretty much hand tight and then use your two 14 millimeter wrenches. Um, and we actually also used, we used two 14 millimeter wrenches and you could also use a 14 and a 9 16 if you had to. And you basically want to get them about as tight as you can with a wrench and then just hook um, hook your wrench on and just give it another pull about a quarter of a turn uh, using both wrenches. Put the wheel back in place, uh, put the hub cap on and start your lug nuts and then you just want to kind of hand tighten them, hand start them first to make sure you don't cross the threads. Um, and then once they're hand started, then just kind of preliminarily tighten them up. And with the car back on the ground, with a little bit of pressure on it, or weight on it, I'm going to use the 22 and torque wrench that I've set to 100 foot pounds. And torque them to start kind of. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.